NASA was really impressed with Kari's expertise. They, they really are very, very well educated. They are really motivated. The only thing they didn't have was experience. It's been a fantastic journey for us as well, you know, uh, working with the, the Kari team over the past seven years and seeing something go from concept to agreement to real hardware, uh, awesome launch back in August, and now arriving at the lunar environment is just fantastic, very exciting for us is a very delicate mission. Uh, it has to balance the gravity of Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, three different objects, and stay in that very delicate trajectory all the way out and then return. So it, it is very complex, and which is why most missions have a lot of trajectory correction maneuvers planned. But Denuri only had to do less than half of the planned corrections is an indicator of a fantastic work by the Korean trajectory team and as, as well as the uh, the spacecraft management team. So it's a great reflection on, on how capable uh, South Korea is in doing these sorts of missions, especially for the first time. We are mostly interested in the South Pole because that's where our first human missions will be. We do have a spacecraft um, orbiting the moon now. That's the LRO over a decade. Uh, we actually don't have a lot of information about the South Pole as far as images. Kari has polar metric images, visible light images, and some very sensitive images of the shadowed regions, which had never seen sunlight for billions of years. And we really don't know what the surface is. We want to go there, but we don't know if it's fluffy frost or cratered or slick like an ice rink. So we're really anticipating getting the data from the instrument. And I know Artemis science teams are already planning on making requests uh, to South Korea to take some, some images of areas of interest for us. So we're especially interested in picking a landing site. As I'd mentioned, there are images there, but not a lot of images. More are always better. So we're hoping to use the Nanuri science instruments to help us pick a landing site and also see inside the permanently shadowed regions. We believe there's a great amount of either a water or other minerals there that we can harvest to build a permanent base on the lunar surface. So KPLO is the first mission getting data for us there in the past 10 years. So we're really anticipating the information. NASA was really impressed with um, Kari's expertise. They they really are very, very well educated. They are, they are really motivated. The only thing they didn't have was experience. This is their first mission. So I'm sure they are going to absolutely um, take the lessons learned from our landers. As I mentioned, landing is difficult. 40% or so are not successful. And so I would recommend they practice the landing systems, do it in all types of harsh environments possible, throw in failures and see how the machine responds, but practice, practice, practice. Uh, we have a motto down at the Johnson Space Center, train like you fly and fly like you've trained. That's good advice for us. It's worked well for us. And I think it would work well for Kari as well. Well, the moon is more than just a nearby location in space, potentially with resources that we can use. It is a source of inspiration, not just in modern society, but in ancient societies as well. It just holds a, a really close place in our heart, and it, it's a, the first step toward mankind's movement across the solar system. So we think it's inspirational. Even getting to the moon helps benefit our countries back on the earth with the technology we developed, the remote medicine, and other things. So there's lots of benefits toward going to the moon other than and just getting there and saying we've been. I'm not sure Kari needs any advice from NASA. They, they've been doing awesome. In fact, during our planning for the KPLO Denuri mission, Kari taught us a little bit about engineering. Uh, we were trying to design uh, basically a radiator on our instrument to, to get rid of heat. And they said, you know, there's really a better way. You ought to try this and that. And they were right. So I think Kari and NASA are learning together. We both have reasons to work together. I think it'd be really beneficial. So looking forward to future partnerships if Kari would allow uh, with NASA.